Being a short king myself, I wanted to see if there was any chance that I, a short man, could one day be a powerful short king. So here we are with five short kings in history. Number five. Simon Bolivar. He was a revolutionary and led multiple South American countries, including Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia, to independence from Spanish rule. And while he wasn't hating on the Spanish existence, he was advocating for unity among South American nations, envisioning a united continent free from colonial influence. He was a true visionary. Simon may have been born in Venezuela, but he was a true patriot at heart and sought to establish democratic institutions, promote education, and create a framework for the governance of newly independent states in South America. Okay, maybe the education part is the Venezuelan in him. Number four. Vladimir Lenin, standing at a whopping 5-5, he was an advocate for the greatest economic system, communism, and he did nothing wrong. Number three, Gandhi. We all know him as the short brown guy that likes peace, but I know him as the original MLK. Gandhi led India's non-violent struggle for independence from British rule through civil disobedience, inspiring millions with his philosophy of satya. Sat... Yeah, I'm not even gonna try that. He was able to kick out the British by simply walking. His leadership in the Salt March, a symbolic act of protest against the British salt monopoly, drew global attention to the Indian independence movement. Many countries tried to blast the British out of their country, but Gandhi didn't even need to think about picking up a weapon. He knew the British would be scared of a brown guy walking toward them. <clears throat> Number two. Napoleon Bonaparte. We all knew that he was going to be somewhere in this list, but his military conquests were too grand for us to ignore. He expanded the French Empire through a series of military campaigns, dominating much of Europe in the early 19th century. The European monarchs were so scared of him, they sent him to a deserted island, then he simply left that island wreaked more havoc and got sent to a more deserted island with 24 hours surveillance. And when he died, they buried him in a layered coffin. One layer of soft iron, another of mahogany, two others of lead, and one of ebony. They wanted to make sure he stayed dead. That's how much of a savage he was. He also in his lifetime created the Napoleonic Code, a civil code that influenced legal systems worldwide. It emphasized equality before the law, property rights, and secularism, except for women, which is what a real king would do. Number one, Alexander the Great. Many people don't know this, but he was only about 5'6", but that didn't stop him from soaring to new heights. His destruction of the vast Persian Empire led to the spread of Greek culture throughout the conquered lands and the establishment of Hellenistic influence. Many men on this list weren't only beasts on the battlefield, but beasts in the classroom too, and he was no exception. He founded multiple cities, including Alexandria, in Egypt, which became a center of learning, culture, and trade in the ancient world. There are many examples of short kings in history, but I wanted to see if I could become a short king in this modern day. And I looked to Bruno Mars because I think him and I are twins. He's won many Grammy Awards like the Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best Pop Vocal Album, among many others. He was also able to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show. And we all know that only the best artists can perform during the Super Bowl halftime show. He may not be able to reach the top of charts, but his songs are. Mars has achieved numerous top charting singles throughout his career. Songs like Just The Way You Are, Grenade, Locked Out of Heaven, Uptown Funk, and That's What I Like have topped various music charts globally, solidifying his position as a prominent and influential artist in the music industry. And that concludes our list of short kings. And also know that Osama bin Laden was 6'5". So next time you see a tall person, just know that could be another Osama bin Laden unawakened.